Good morning. Welcome to the Scrap and Pallet Man channel. Ah, I see some electronic type stuff. Electrical. Is that a tree trimmer? It's a lumberjack. It's a lumber scrap. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Morning, Ralph. Morning, Sam. I see some scrappage. Definitely get in my truck material. That might be keepable. One, two, three. All right. Definitely some scrap metal. Hmm. Is there anything wrong with these shelves? Looks like I could use some shelves in my shop. They bent up, tore up. Small truck problems. Yeah, these are not tore up. Oh, I got some spideys in there. They don't like the snow. Our little spidey friends. Huh. So, stand them up. Put the scrap in. But then I want to take these to my shop. Oh, decisions, decisions. All right, might be a stupid idea. I'm gonna take these to my shop right now. Yep. And then I'll come back with an empty truck. Man, my organizational skills don't exist. Okay. Yeah. I have to admit, I've been cheating on you a little bit. I've been doing a little bit of me scrapping. Oh. Okay. Um, yeah, this is gonna turn into a horde in no time if I don't just stop and, and start putting some stuff together. I think I'm gonna donate that bike. I had some people interested on a few things. Um, actually, I sold a couple things online. There's a few people that were interested that didn't take. Um, and what else? Oh, yeah, I turned in all my, uh, most of my non-Ferris. Um, yeah, let's go back to the truck and I'll read that uh, receipt to you if I still have it. But first, let's test this uh, lumber scrap saw. Let's see if it works. I don't know, it might not. Ooh, it's kind of corroded. That's probably what the issue is. Corroded contacts. So there's the safety button that's not pressing in. Where does it go? Up, down, in. <clears throat> oh, it's rusted up. Okay. So it's a scrap. <laughs> yeah. I already posted this uh, on Instagram. So you, you probably have already seen it if it's uh plus I get a printout at the end of the year of all the scrap so I can do my taxes. Um, Cause the cool thing about paying taxes on the scrap is I get to deduct um, 50 cents a mile for driving around looking for scrap. Just saying. All right, so, and I can read this a little bit longer cause I only have 60 seconds on Instagram to talk about this so aluminum breakage um i had it was 12 cents a pound for two dollars and 67 cents ballasts um i had 22 pounds of ballast for 10 cents a piece um lead acid batteries i had 22 pounds for 17 cents um brass breakage i had seven pounds for 42 cents a pound yellow brass i had 28 pounds of yellow brass um, for a dollar 15 uh, copper number two, I had 17 pounds of that for $1.67. Electric motors, I had 16 pounds of electric motors 
because sometimes I'll find a motor and I'll just, um, so I was cleaning out my uh, storage shed, not my shop, but my storage unit. Um, and so I had electric motors floating around. They were four cents a pound for electric motors. I was just so upset. Why, why would I keep them around if I could just throw them in a shred? You know, I mean, I'm not going to spend the time to take it apart for, for the copper. Um, I mean, a lot of people do because they enjoy that. It's just, it, it would be, it would be painful for my hands trying to rip stuff apart. Um, I got issues with my hands. Um, Insulated copper wire uh, Romex was a dollar a pound. The thicker Romex, 70% uh, uh, copper value, was a dollar eight per pound. Uh, extension cords, which is just the appliance cords, 26 cents per pound. I had 27 pounds of that. Um, no, I'm sorry, I had 77 pounds. It was an entire garbage can full. Um, I mean, a big garbage can. So 77 pounds of uh, those extension cords and, you know, the just the cords. Um, and I got 20 bucks for that, $20 and two cents. And then Christmas lights, I had eight pounds of that, uh, six cents a pound and zinc. I had nine pounds of zinc and that was the, the metal pieces, the, I guess they call it pot metal, but they were calling it zinc. Um, and it goes on the ceiling fans that attach the wood blade to the motor itself, to the rotor uh, of the motor. So for a total of $138.78. So I broke the piggy bank. Yes, and I still have almost that much at my shop, but my shop is becoming quite disorganized right now. Anyway, hey, oh, we gotta go. We gotta get that scrap that I left. No time to lose. That's not a school zone. It's a scrap zone. I'm trying to get to that scrap that I left, and I'm finding scrap. All right, well, I gotta get it. I'm gonna be blocking this walkway, aren't I? Yeah, I am for a little bit. All right, let's get it. Cold out here. Uh oh, is that gonna? It's gonna hit me in the head. I can tell. Ooh, that's a nasty fridge too. <laughs> so it's older, so it's probably extra heavy. <laughs> Doing. I don't know why I think that's funny. No, don't fall towards the cars. It is sliding towards the street. Why are you being awkward? Got nothing to grab over here. Ugh. Come on, dude. <clears throat> it's fighting me. Why are you fighting me? <clears throat> Seriously? <clears throat> Two, and then we're out of here.
They're like, what are you guys doing? Pulling over to help me? Awesome. No, it is a school zone. That's kind of a drop off right through that little walkway over to the school. My hands are cold. Hey, it's still there. That's good. All right, let's get this stuff loaded up. All right, this is gonna be awkward for a second. I gotta go vertical. Hopefully I don't think I'm dropping scrap off here. So my question is, do I take it back out of the truck and put it in the truck with the heavy part of the bottom, or do I just lift the heavy part up right now? Hmm. I'm thinking about lifting the heavy part up right now because it's already at a higher level. It's like the, that's why they jack cars up so you can work on stuff at like, you know, standing level. All right, I can do it just fine. I think I can. Oh, wow. Oh no, 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 no. Uh, really? Really? Uh, 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 uh. All right, that wasn't the smartest move in the world. What like snapped over here? Something like snapped. Was, maybe it was ice, I don't know. Ooh. <laughs> I was climbing in my truck as I'm holding this up. Oh, Paul. Buy you books, send you to school. Nothing. Oh, that was not fun. Let's catch it. What can I put in there? All these pots. Is that silver? No, nope. that sticks. But it looked kind of silvery. Whew, that beat me up a little bit. Man, I've been practicing the songs for our Christmas concert, which is in two days. 17 songs. Yeah. We had our second rehearsal on Sunday. And uh, yeah, I post a, just a little bit. I mean, there's, uh, yeah, there's trumpets, trum, trombone, um, there's a whole string section with the cello, two violins, a viola, and of course just regular the electric band as well. Sorry, I got some chords. It is, it is cold out here. I need, to, I need to wear my long johns. It's about 10 degrees below freezing. Um, well, it it's 16 degrees Fahrenheit, so it's at minus 10 Celsius, something like that. Any other cords? These cords are like frozen. Yep. Yeah, I thought I'd dress well. I got two shirts on, two kind of coat things. My truck is screaming at me.
All right, let's finish loading this up. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good. Give me a hand? Um, I think I pretty much got it, but if you want to help me out, I won't say no. <laughs> I'm an internet fan. Are you? <laughs> I kind of picked up the stock to resell it. Okay. So. I'm gonna tip it like this and then we'll just go straight up, I guess. All right, ready? You've seen some of the videos, huh? Sure. Cool. That's good to hear. Cool, did you find anything good? I got a shot back. Did you? There's, there's a, I already clipped the cords on them though. I hate yeah. cut those cords. I know, man, I'll bet it drives you nuts. <laughs> <laughs> it's been out here all night, how come you didn't get it? It's dark out. Yeah, I know. It's hard to do this in I the can't, dark. I can't do it at night. It's tough. It's no so, way. I miss those 5 a.m. sunrises in the summertime. I know. I love that too. Because you're out before the trash man. Right. I think my thermostat is bipolar. I get in the truck and I start to overheat. <laughs> Seriously, I'm like, ah, hot. I need oxygen. <laughs> like a polar bear. Hmm. I wonder if it works. You look like you work. You look nice and clean, actually. Like it's you, normally the fans are dirty. You know, I mean, there's a little bit of dust here, but like the fan itself. All right. Yeah, you're riding up front. I'm gonna do my little upside down bowling knot, scrap and pallet bowling knot. <laughs> to me it has the same integrity as a bowling but normally this loop would be on this part but to me it's the same thing yeah I just want to kind of put a little extra down the center I'm not going to be driving very far it's actually scrapyards within the same neighborhood but I mean what if something you just never know. You just never know. Wait a minute. Let's go a little lower on this. Yeah. Now I want to cross it. Then go underneath this portion so I'm just gonna hold that right there go under here to do my clove hitch bam that thing is quite secure I think there's some room on the bus for you yeah Sometimes I just forget to turn the camera on. Oh great, I just got weighed. No cars are coming. I had to go this direction because that big truck was on the scale. It was going that way, so I'd have been like, yeah, I'd have been in the way. Whoa, they sold the big scrap pile. Wow, looky there. There's all kinds of stuff I could run over on accident don't want to run over stuff especially in a metal scrapyard okay what is beeping is something backing up that I don't realize do what he's doing. Do I need to get out of your way? Wow. 
Then that other truck had these big gear things on it as well. Dude. That is far too much weight. Look at the back wheels. The back wheels are coming off the ground. You'd think that the electronics in there would tell it. Well, I guess it has the safety things to tip over. But the electronics would say, no, you can't drive like this. Wow. Okay. All right. Let's get this scrap out of the truck. I'm running over things. This is not cool. Oh no, I'm not running. It's it's the ruts. That's what I was hitting. I was a bit freaked out for a second. Whoa. I guess in Europe they don't have those beeping sounds on the trucks anymore. They have a hissing sound. Almost like someone's going shh. Like you know the be quiet SH sound. Which actually makes more sense. If you're in a crowded room and someone goes shh, it gets everyone's attention. Is this one of those smack o -matics? selling the snow <laughs> man I, did I break that today I might have that one seems sturdier this one seems I don't know something happened something went haywire CFC bearing appliance thing came on hopefully it was just the testing of the gauges kind of freaked me out a little bit All right weighing out weighing light whatever you want to call it Whew. nothing like a little morning exercise huh. wait for the green light Yay. Got it. Yeah, those are those things with the, the uh, sprocket. Cogswell Cogs. <laughs> these things are massive. Exactly fourteen dollars. Yeah, so we're definitely doing half price scrapping compared to a year ago. 
which you all know that. But it's all good. You know, it's uh, it's all going to work out. I think prices are going to start to increase. Um, can you hear that wind? <laughs> I'm not sure if you can hear that. But I just want to praise God right now. Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for this time. Thank you for safety. Um, Lord, let us just pay attention to individuals and what's going on in in others' lives. Lord, help me pay attention to the friends and family and acquaintances that are around me. Um, because sometimes things are going on that need some attention. Lord, help me see that. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh,